Hey, what's up guys? It's Scott with Let's Keep It Simple, and today I'm going to be showing you a pretty cool video. It is how to install Exposed on your Apple TV. And what Exposed is, is it's an application written by Brandon Holland, which allows you to access and control your Apple TV from your computer. It's a pretty cool application. Um, if you're going to be using your Apple TV to maybe surf the web or look on YouTube or even um, download movies, because you can actually type with it. And uh, there's two different ways to install it. I'll show you them both, and I'll show you the VNC clients that you use to access the Apple TV. All right, so let's get right into it. So the first and easiest way to install Exposed on your Apple TV is through Neato TV. It kind of acts like Cydia, if you're familiar with the iPhone. So if you haven't installed that, just click on me, and um, I'll take you to another page. So if you have it already installed, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Neato TV, Install Package, and scroll on down to Exposed. Install that, and then you're also going to want to install the VNC settings. And once VNC settings and Exposed are installed, reboot your Apple TV. Scroll on over to Settings, and then scroll on down to Custom Settings. And you can change the password for VNC or yeah for VNC settings if you want. I don't know if you have to. I did for whatever reason, and uh, that's that. So now I'll show you how to SSH into it. All right, so if you don't have Neato TV installed or it just didn't work when you installed it through Neato TV, another thing that you can do is SSH into your Apple TV. For Mac, use Terminal. If you're a Windows, use WinSCP or Putty or something like that. And it's really simple. You're just going to type apt-get update, and all of the commands can be found in the description. So just go to the description, click on the link. It'll show you a list of the commands that you'll need to input. I think it's just three or four. And then, boom, reboot your Apple TV, and you're ready to go. All right, so now that we've installed the applications, what we're going to be doing is logging into our Apple TV using a VNC client. And the one I'm going to be demonstrating today is Chicken of the VNC. It's a free application that's provided in the, in the description. And what you're going to want to do when you open it up is you're going to want to make sure that your host file says the same thing that your IP address for your Apple TV. And if you have a password that you put in the Apple TV for the VNC settings, it's going to be the same password here. And so now what you're going to want to do is just press connect. And voila, man, you did it. So good job. The way that you use VNC or the um, exposed is with the arrows and then enter, obviously, pounds on it. And you can and type up whatever you want to look for, which makes it really, really nice. And if you want to back up, it's not the escape or it's not the back button, but it's the escape button. And it was a pretty cool application, so thanks to Brandon Holland for making it. It does have a little bit of a lag, but hey, it's in its beginning stages. And you can't expect it to be perfect right away. Well, this has been Scott Herder with Let's Keep It Simple. I hope you liked the video. Please take a couple seconds to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Have a nice day, and thanks for watching.